and feed some snakes. Today happens to be one of my snake feedings day and now if you're familiar with me and my channel you know that I have various different types of snakes. You know I have multiple different species of various ages and sizes and whatnot so because of that not all of my snakes are on the same feeding schedule. You know some of them eat every week, some of them eat twice a month, some of them only eat once a month. So because of that I don't normally feed all of my snakes all at the same time. However, today happens to just be one of those days where basically all of my snakes need to be fed. So I thought why not go ahead and make a fun little video out of feeding all of my snakes and in this video you're also going to be seeing Josh who is my boyfriend feeding his snakes as well because his snakes also need to be fed. So as I'm sure you guys are aware by now this is a snake feeding video and with that I just want to put the little disclaimer out there that this video is going to show frozen thawed rodents being eaten by snakes. If you are not someone who wants to see that I totally understand it is not for everyone and I completely respect that. So last warning if you don't want to see snake feedings then I would definitely suggest clicking off now and if you do want to see them then let's just go ahead and get on into the video. Before we get on with the snake feedings though make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss more videos like this in the future and just lots of fun content to come so if you aren't already please make sure you are subscribed. Now let's go ahead and start getting my snake food ready. Okay so this brown bag right here has all of my frozen rodents and stuff in it and the animals think that they are getting fed because I was in the pet freezer, but it is not, it is not time for you guys to eat. It is time for the snakes to eat. So these two containers that I have right here are just the containers that I plan on putting the rodents in to then thaw out. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to go ahead and grab all of the rodents that I need and then start thawing them. All right, so these are all of the rodents that I'm going to be thawing out. Now there's some rats and mice here of all various sizes. So these are all for my snakes but also my boyfriend's snakes he's going to be feeding his snakes later so I took out a few rodents to thaw for him while he's at work so yeah I guess now we just let these thaw and I will see you again when it's time to feed some snakes so all of the rodents that you saw me take out and prepare earlier are now all thawed out and ready to be fed to my animals before we go and feed my animals I did have one last thing to say and that is just that you will not see me feeding Viper who is my Amazon tree boa in this video the reason for that is last Last time I fed her she actually regurgitated her meal. This is the first time I've ever had a snake regurgitate in my care. Ever since she regurgitated I've been monitoring her closely to make sure it doesn't seem like any health issue and she seems totally fine. I'm pretty sure she just regurgitated because her heat went out the day after she ate and that probably caused her to not be able to digest and regurg. So yeah. And that is why I'm not going to be feeding her today because for those of you who don't know, if you have a snake that regurgitates their meal, it's best to not feed them for a couple weeks because regurgitation is a very difficult process for them and sometimes it can cause a little bit of damage to their like esophagus and stuff. So it's best not to feed them right away just in case there's anything going on. You know, give them some time to just like relax and chill and then in a few weeks you can feed them. So yeah, Viper is not going to be fed today, however, all of my other snakes are going to be fed so let's just go ahead and start feeding now. Okay so this enclosure here belongs to Richard who is my Brazilian rainbow boa. He's currently in this hide over here. Probably can't really see that on the camera but I'm hoping he'll come out for his mess. His eyeball. So all of the snakes that I own are non-venomous constrictors, which means rather than using venom to kill their prey, they instead constrict their prey. Richard usually takes quite a long time before he actually starts swallowing his food. So we'll just leave him for a little bit and then come back and check in on him. So this here is Willow, who is my children's python, and she's also just going to be eating a mouse. Here, she's starting to stick her head out. <laughs> Guess that works. <laughs> so this here is Angel, who is one of my ball pythons. She's looks pretty ready to eat. There, yeah, she's definitely ready to eat. <laughs> Did not hesitate there. Uh... 
So unlike humans, snakes obviously do not chew their food. Instead, they just swallow it whole. To do this, they use a lot of powerful muscles throughout their body in order to help them push the food down their throat and into their stomach. And next up here we have Titan, and he also looks like he's probably ready to eat, hopefully. Yep, also ready to eat. It's a common misconception that snakes dislocate their jaws in order to swallow their prey. There's actually no dislocating going on at all. The real reason why snakes can open their mouth so wide is because they don't have a chin, so their lower jawbone can really just expand and allow them to swallow really big food items. So this here is Medusa. Medusa is one of my ball pythons. Some of you might remember Medusa is my ball python who I kind of rescued. Medusa was super, super stunted in growth when I first got him. He was really, really tiny, but he's grown quite a bit since then, so that's always a good thing. And he really just enjoys eating. He's, he's doing good. Okay, so now we're gonna be feeding Casper, again, another one of my ball pythons. So Casper is being fed a medium rat, which is the same size that basically all of my ball pythons get. They're all at the age and size now where they can eat medium rats, so that's what they get. It's commonly believed that when snakes constrict their food, the goal is to squeeze it so tight that it can't breathe anymore, therefore causing suffocation. This actually isn't what snakes do. When snakes constrict their prey, they're looking to raise the heart rate of the animal so much that it just stops beating. So it's not actually suffocation that kills the animal, but instead is their heart stopping. Okay, and last of my ball pythons, we're going to be feeding Toby. So Toby just recently started eating frozen thawed rats. It took me a really long time to get him to start eating frozen thawed, and even when I got him to start taking frozen thawed, he would only take soft furs or chicks, but thankfully now he's finally just taking frozen thawed rats. Okay, so this here is Ghost. Ghost is one of my corn snakes. She always eats like right away she never has any issue eating at all so we're gonna be giving her this mouse today this is like the longest she's ever taken there we go <laughs> all right we'll leave her for a little bit and then we'll come back when she actually starts like swallowing it because right now she's just gonna hug it for a little bit In 
In my experience owning corn snakes, I found that they're almost never going to refuse a meal and for that reason, I think they make really, really great pets. And this here is Tangerine, who is also one of my corn snakes. She's also gonna eat a mouse, and she's probably pretty ready for it, but doesn't really know where it is. There you go. <laughs> and here we have my sand boa comet. We're going to be feeding him a hopper mouse. You can see him just sticking his head out right there, and there he goes. <laughs> He'll probably drag it down into the hole with him never to be seen again. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> so this is Marvin. He's a common boa, a boa constrictor and parator. He's going to be getting a rat. He looks pretty hungry. And just chilling in the front the whole time we've been feeding. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, he is gorgeous. This is Fendi, my Kenyan Samboa. He's also been peeking out the whole time we've been down here. He's almost always peeking out somewhere. You can usually find him poking at least his nose out. And he's usually a very good eater as well. Sometimes you have to touch him. There you go. <laughs> sort of grabbed it by the side of his mouth. Ooh, nice coils, buddy. <laughs> Bit of a lazy coil. Okay, so this here is my milk snake, Rocky. Rocky is really boring to feed because he won't ever really eat off tongs. I typically always just leave his mouse like on this little bamboo piece right there and usually he comes out to get it pretty fast but yeah he will just basically never eat off tongs and there you go all of my snakes have now been fed all of josh's snakes have been fed every single one of the snakes ate their food i didn't have any reject it so that is great so now that all of the snakes have eaten and everything i am just going to go ahead and end the video here i do really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy watching it would mean a ton to me if you gave this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel also be sure to check out all of my social media that will all just be down in the description below i would love to have you guys over there so please check that out if you want to um like i said it's all down there so uh yeah now that i have nothing else left to say i'm gonna go ahead and end the video so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video